Greetings! Today I'm going to be trying to repair or fix my DSO 068 digital, digital oscilloscope and this little thing is broken, it's not responding. It's got itself into a boot loop. Let me show you what it's doing. If I apply power, now the battery module, uh, well the battery itself is not installed in it right now and I'll try to switch it on. It will keep doing this sort of thing. And it just shows you the version and the keypad version and and whatnot and just goes back and forth. Eventually it will go to the oscilloscope screen but it doesn't respond to any key presses. And this was weird, this happened um, a while back, I was just playing with something and it was working fine. Then I switched it off, changed the circuit and when I switched it on it, uh, it was already broken. That's a bit sad, but um, not to worry. I think uh, I think the fix will be relatively simple. So I've looked up on the JYE Tech forum, and there is an option to basically restore this to factory settings. Let's open it up, and here it is. Now I'm filming this because if you happen to have one and it broke like this for you, you may want to try the same sort of thing. So we've got a reset button on here. So before we do anything, let's try to press that reset button and see what happens. Okay, it's got to the screen, but as you can see, it's not responding to any key presses. Apparently, to f to fix it, to clear the EEPROM memory on here, we've got to, we have to pull down the PF6, uh, which is here on the uh, connector. Uh, pull the PF6 low to ground with a 1K resistor. So let's get a 1K resistor, and here we have a. 1k resistor as needed and we need to connect the PF6 point which is this one here so it's the third one from the right on the J or PD5 connector and I've got a ground pad over here I could use or I've got this connector here and I, th I think I see over here two points marked as ground so I'm just going to buzz it out um, make sure that those actually are ground so first of all let's make sure that those are connected yes those are connected then we can buzz it to the screw that's ground to the negative yeah that's uh, that's all negative or ground or whatever you want to call it. So what I'm going to do is to avoid soldering anything I'm going to put in PF6 like so into the via and put in resistor like this and while I'm holding this like so I'm going to power it up. There we go, let's give it a shot. So let's power it on. Fixed. There you go, that was that easy. So now I have to remove the resistor and it's back operational. It's as you can see, it's responding to to turning the knob, and I can go into the menu and go into different functions. So there you go. This is a that's the fix for if you get a boot loop on your DSO 068. Really simple. All you need is a 1K resistor and connect it between the ground and the PF6 point on here, and that's it. While I'm at it, 
uh, I might as well try to improve the visibility on this because the screen on here is uh, the backlight on it swamps the camera and I can't see anything on the camera on here at least it's very difficult you could see in previous shots um, how it looks like but um, I've noticed if I put uh, a little bit of this window tint film um, on it um, it becomes much easier for the camera to actually capture an image from here so I took a little bit of that film and with a little piece of tape I should be able to align it should be able to but easier said than done Okay, like this and let's see what sort of difference will that make so let me put it all back together moment of truth that's uh, quite a bit better I think um, on the camera don't you think uh, you've seen it in a moment and also to the eye is a lot better but yeah you can actually make out what's, what's on the screen right now Whereas before it was uh, a little bit, a little bit difficult to for the camera to show anything. So yeah, there we go. This is how you fix uh, a DSO 068 if you get it into a boot loop, and also um, this is how you can improve the visibility on the screen a little bit. Now I've, I've not aligned the tape perfectly over here, but that doesn't matter, I guess. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this little quick video and give me a thumbs up if you did. Uh, subscribe for more random stuff, um, share this video if you wish um, anywhere you like and that's it for this one. So thanks a lot for watching and for the time being take care.